great supporter of this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong support of H.R. 2187, the 21st Century Green High Performing Public School Facilities. My friend from Texas, I think he's still my friend, my friend from Texas would have to admit that we already have a sucking sound, and that is we've been sucked into waste after waste after waste, which is costing us a tremendous amount of money. And this is preventable in the 21st century. I want to thank Mr. Chandler, uh, Congressman Chandler, for sponsoring this critical legislation, and Chairman Miller, of course, for his leadership on the entire issue. Most of the students in this country attend the school that was built over a half a century ago. In my district, it's even worse than that. Complete with leaky roofs and faulty electric. You can't just shove this off the side saying it's trivial and unimportant. This is outdated technology, which is costing us millions, in fact, billions of dollars. This legislation would provide the dollars and grants for fiscal year 10, 2010, to local school districts so that they can make the repairs, provide the modernization, and green their facilities so that our kids can learn in safe, modern, well-equipped, and environmentally friendly school facilities. Many of these schools are not safe. And this, the states don't have the money, local communities don't have the money to make them safe. This is not acceptable to anybody, regardless of which side of the aisle you're on. The legislation builds on the principles of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act and will create 100,000 new jobs in making these places safer and making them more cost efficient. Joe Zara, the superintendent of the Nutley School System in my district, has launched an ambitious plan to green the town's elementary schools. Already started a couple of years ago using cutting edge technology to reduce both greenhouse gas emissions and the school district's utility bills. That's critical. I agree with my friend from Texas that health issue is a critical issue. The patient is in the emergency room, particularly with the numbers out today on Medicare and Medicaid. But this, too, is a very important issue. H.R. 2178 will help school districts across the country undertake similar projects and ensure that our children in modern environments where they can truly reach their potential. I yield back and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, you'll talk the balance of this time. Gentleman from California.